Hey YouTube, it's a Torque Dog here in the video in Tennisville doing a review on the Umbrella Academy. Um, so I watched the first season, which was 10 episodes, and I don't know what to think about it. I liked how in the end, like it was kind of obvious that, um, I can't really remember her name, is it 7? Like I know her number, but I can't really remember her name, but anyways. It's kind of obvious, oh that's Ellen Page. That's so cool. She does like lots of voice acting and stuff like that for video games. Um, anyways, uh, she's in uh, whatever. It doesn't matter what she's in. Uh, it's just cool that it's Ellen Page. So it's obvious though that Seven, uh, she's she does have powers, but it's kind of cool that she's the one that started the apocalypse and everything. Uh, I can't remember if we know how Five, not Five, uh, the Asian guy, Six, um. So as a number six death fan theories. Oh yeah, so we don't know how he died. So, cause like maybe I just thought that maybe like we do know how he dies, but we just didn't hear or something. Wait, is the umbrella academy an actual thing? Oh, it's an actual comic series. I did not know that. So, anyways, five. Well, it seems like it's an actual, it's an actual comic series, I don't know. Anyways, though, so Five, I don't, he wasn't really my favorite. I think, I feel like the actor is from somewhere. Uh, from, um, like, Nicky Dicky, Ricky and Don, that show. Do you know what I'm talking about? He might be, but I don't really know. Uh, one, he wasn't really my favorite. He's just kind of weird and everything. Uh, m most likely because of the hair, but, you know, he's just kind of weird. But when Seven goes and, like, slits uh, her throat and stuff like that, I was like, oh, crap. Because, like, she was, I liked her a lot. My favorite uh, character was Klaus, but, you know, I liked her a lot and everything. So I was like, oh, crap. Like, that sucks balls. But the thing is, they killed so many characters off in season one, though. They killed, like, they might bring them back, but they killed Pogo. They killed the father, but they might bring him back. They killed the mom. Uh, throughout the series... Like, it kind of, they kind of made it seem, Pogo, like, it kind of made him seem like, if he's, like, you know, like, he knew something, which he didn't know something in the end, and it's revealed, but, it kind of made him seem, like, important, like, every single time he's about to leave the room and stuff like that, when he was done talking to the kids, he'd always look at them and just give them that look, you know what I mean? Honestly, the only reason why I, I watched the show was because of Pogo. On the, on the Netflix thing, I saw... Just a monkey, and I was like, "Oh, I'm watching this. This, this is awesome." So he's the only reason why I really watched the show. So maybe he'll be in the thumbnail, Pogo. So then we have these two. I can't remember which one's which. Um, but in the end, one of them dies, or at least it seems like they die in the apocalypse. So then that's another character death. Um, it, there's Hazel, and I think it's Hazel that dies. It's this girl that dies. I think her name is Hazel. Um, yeah. So then that's another character death. So we just have a bunch of character deaths. Um, there's obviously theories for Pogo and stuff like that in season two. I'm actually really excited for season two. It seems like lots of people are though. And then this guy number two. Um, he was kind of okay. He wasn't really mysterious, but he's kind of like I feel like they were trying to make him seem mysterious, but he wasn't really. Um, he was more just, you know, just your average, typical, I'm going to be alone uh, and I'm going to not talk to my family type of guy, you know what I mean? Uh, see, like, look at this with the hair, he just looks so bad. And he just, like, looks so bad, really big. Like, the actor is fine, because, like, he's not actually that big, but in the thing, he just looks so bad. But, I mean, whatever, I guess that's what he's supposed to be, kind of. Like, if you look at the comics, there, he's, he's a pretty big boy. Um, so yeah, Klaus can see, like, the dead and stuff, he can see, he can see his brother. It's, it's kind of unclear what the powers are, like, she has, just basically, the best powers. She has the, I heard a rumor power, but, like, it doesn't even tell you the powers, really. Like, we only heard, heard her rumor, uh, her thing once. The other guy is just really strong. Um, the number two, he is, a, he controlled the knives or something. He can turn into like a giant octopus. Uh, and yeah, we don't really know much about their powers. It's not 
not very much of a reveal. I wonder if in like season two and stuff they're going to go on to because it wasn't there forty two kids that were born on the same day. So that means there's gonna be forty two kids with um with powers then. So I wonder if eventually on on seasons uh, they're gonna future seasons they're gonna go in that path. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe like for more episodes.